Hello, hello, here again, working on the 350 Legends. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. I, uh, reading the comments here. From Mike Treen, T-R-E-E-N. And he asked me if I tried regular primers. You know what? No, I hadn't. Because I took for granted they worked so good on the 450, they'd work, the Magnums did, they'd work great on the 350. And uh, some lows they might. I might still try them on the H110 because I have uh, 100, 150 already done ahead. So I, I threw some brass in the tumbler, cleaned it all up, you know, sized it, and then recleaned it, and I primed 100 pieces with regular primers just for the hell of it to try. And I loaded up my number three charge and my number 10 charge because they were the most promising. Well, it didn't make my um, flyer go away, but it did. Well, I got, I'll put the picture in there. But on the number three, it's all like one hole, and then there's one way down here. I don't know what the hell the deal is with it. I may have to just accept, accept flyers on this load. I don't know. I mean, it's not like it's... I'm not going to hunt with it or nothing. And then the number, the 10 load I did. Now, it didn't give me a flyer, but it did give me a, a bigger group. But with using a different primer, I could start over doing a ladder load, right? I could start over. But this one is a 0.75 inch group to get rid of the flyer. You know, it's interesting. I was whacking around just popping away on my steel just because that's what I do. I knew I was going to yell that, so I might as, well, might as well have some fun while I'm doing it, right? <laughs> and my daughter calls while I'm shooting. So I'm talking to my daughter from Virginia. <laughs> while I'm shooting, I couldn't stop shooting. Because I could hear her good, because I got my earmuffs on. And my hearing aids underneath, it just runs the audio out of my iPhone to them. So I could hear them perfectly good, even when I'm shooting. My son-in-law got a kick out of it. He's watching me shoot. Grandpa, you got one in the bullseye. I goes, yeah, the problem is I didn't get them all in the bullseye. You know, but uh, anyways, um, I knew I'd be getting yelled at when I started shooting, so I had so much time to finish my shooting because I'm not doing so good, which is normal. I've had, I've had pneumonia a few times. The doctor says that my respiratory thing is weakened because of it. And um, so I couldn't go to the doctor. I got sick. I can't go to the doctor because, you know, they're closed because of the Christmas and all that. I'll go tomorrow if they'll let me in. I have a good doctor. He usually get you in. You might wait four hours in the waiting room, but he usually gets you in that day if you're sick. And I just got to get whatever the drugs he gives me it takes. If I catch it far enough, quick enough, it doesn't give me pneumonia and I'm good. My throat is raw. I can't sleep at night. It's like... So anyways, I still loaded up my things because I wanted to try them. And I mean, what the hell? You're going to feel like crap. You might as well do something you enjoy while you're feeling like crap, right? We had a great Christmas last night, Christmas Eve. And so and I actually made dinner for my wife today. I don't think I've ever done that in my whole life. So I made her dinner out here and everything. She came out here and we had dinner. It was great. But um, anyways, I shot these and the standard primers seem to be working better, at least with this powder, little gun. So I've got a few left, quite a few left primed already to go and I'm gonna try to do a little bit more loads of stuff but I'm gonna show you some pictures of some steel because I didn't miss one piece of steel when I was shooting a few of them not one and I don't know maybe it's me you know because I'm I don't have a bag underneath the gun when I'm shooting from the bench I'm just you know I'm just steadying it and I think I'm I don't think it's me I really don't but I don't know when I'm shooting the steel I don't have a problem I don't know so we'll see. We'll see. Because I want to move on to other things, you know. But I got to keep playing. I like this bullet. I'm going to load up some because this bullet's so fun to shoot. I don't have any feeding problems at all. It's great. But anyways, I'll put some pictures of steel and stuff. You'll see the, the brown spot where it knocks the paint off and stuff. There's a... <coughs> excuse me. There's this one target that is... like My son bought it for me a couple of birthdays ago called a hostage target and you got the standard man size thing 
and you got this little thing on the top that swings, and that's supposed to be the bad guy you're trying to shoot. You're not supposed to hit the hostage. Well, I nailed him three times. Boom, boom. No, no, no problem. I mean, so, I don't know. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm confused about the flyer. That's my problem. I mean, I can live with it, but it's confusing the hell out of me, which isn't that hard to do, but what the hell. So, anyways, I'll throw the things on there and see what we can do. Thanks for watching, and thanks for all the uh, comments and stuff people gave me. I really appreciate it. I, I read them all, took them all to heart. Thank you very much. I don't have any reloaders in my area. Not one. Not one. I've never, ever... Well, I haven't met one guy, because one guy was on one of the forums here in, in the Detroit forum. He was just starting out uh, casting, and he was dying for a, re uh, a sizing, a lee sizing kit, you know? And he was new. He just got it going. He wanted it so bad. The holiday coming up, he had three days, and he wanted to do the try. And he got on there. He goes, I'll pay anything for it, whatever. I got on there. Dude, if you want it bad enough, you're willing to come and get it. I'll sell you mine for 15 bucks. You know? And then I bought me a new one. No big deal. And uh, he was tickle pink. So it's funny. He was an engineer. I got there talking. To him. The guy's like Einstein type of engineer. But I've never talked to him since, you know, because he lives a long ways away. Other than on forums and stuff. So. I don't know anybody that I can pop an idea on. I just have to keep trying stuff. So the comments were greatly appreciated. I hope everybody had a great Christmas. I know I did. Well, there we are. You'll see in the target, two, three, two. That just means the second time I tried this one. That, that group was great, except for that one flyer. And I don't know if it's the first, second. I can't see the target that well, even through the scope, to tell where it's happening. I don't know if it's me. It could be. I don't know. A 10-4, which is the highest charge I've tried so far. They were kind of all over the place, but they were all, there was no flyer, so I'm almost tempted to take that charge and maybe start there as a center and go maybe up and down a half a, uh, a grain, you know, or maybe even three quarters of a grain at two or three tenths of a grain increments. I don't know how much more I want to play with it. And then steel. Every one of those things, I mean, they weren't dead center every time, but they were certainly, I hit it good enough where it was, you know, that's what I think anyway, it was damn close to where I'd want to shoot, my point of impact where I'd want it. So I don't know. And then the bullseye target, yeah, they weren't all in one spot, but they didn't, they were inside that four inch, which I guess is not a four inch, Inside that uh, the bullseye, which is on that target, is a four inch. And the plates, I hit nailed a couple of those guys. Now I didn't hit those dead center, but it wasn't a long ways off, and that could just be the I, I hit them both. That's what's the key. I ran out of ammo. I didn't have any more loaded up, so I couldn't shoot anymore. I should have took a shot at that little guy there, but I don't have enough confidence in it to just take a shot at the little guy. You know, because at least if you hit off you at least see where you hit if you miss you just you miss anyways there we are the ongoing saga my 350 legend but i'm having fun good night